Hi everybody. You probably heard by now that we have received the go ahead to come back to in-person learning on Monday. This is awesome news. I know your teachers are relieved and excited to be heading back into the classroom. I'm sure you are too. There's a few things we need to talk about before we gather back together again. Remember back in December when I visited your class and talked about the importance of remaining vigilant with our COVID protocols? Well, the time has come to put that talk into practice. I just want to talk for a minute about why it's important. It's been important because we care about each other and the complications that might exist in people's lives that make COVID a serious threat for them. Those with underlying health issues, our grandparents or other vulnerable loved ones at home. It's important because we want to be here in person. And if we're diligent with our protocols, that means we get to stay. Also, it's important because our government has required some stricter measures for our safety that we intend to follow. So here's what you can expect when you come to school on Monday. A couple of changes. Number one, you're going to have to complete a self-screening tool before you come into the building. You can find a link to this Government of Ontario self-screening tool on EDSB School Talk. You'll have to fill it out before you come into the building. And once you have, your screen will show a green background with a check mark like this. That's all you need to do. It also shows the date at the bottom of the screen so we can see that you've done it on the day that you enter the building. If you don't have a phone, you'll be asked some screening questions at the door in a similar way to what you need to do when you enter stores. Second thing is wear a mask, one that you bring from home, preferably. You'll need to wear your mask inside at all times. That means a mask that covers your mouth, your nose and your chin. This is something we've already been doing. What's new is, we will also be wearing our masks outdoors. This is a new guideline from the Ministry of Health due to the fact that we are having a bit of a, tr of a problem maintaining our proper distance outside. That's proven to be difficult at our school and at many others as well. This is one rule we're willing to revisit if it seems like distancing ourselves outside gets better over the next few weeks. Another thing we're gonna to have to remember to do is to maintain distance of a meter or more when you're entering and exiting doorways. This is for outdoor doorways or inside classroom doorways. This was a requirement that really started to slide last fall and we do need to work on it. There will be teachers outside during breaks to help you remember this. And this will be especially important in the mornings when you need to show evidence of your self screening. Coming in one at a time will make that a lot easier. Last thing, distance. I know this is really hard. You want to be close to your friends. You want to hug your friends. But no matter what you would normally do, this kind of closeness is just not allowed at this time. We all look forward to hugging our loved ones as soon as we can. And we hope it's not too much longer. But keeping our distance is still one of the most important tools we have to protect ourselves and each other. Friends, we all have to do our part to make this work. Teenagers in the building and adults in the building too. It's important that we understand that we're all in this together. The reality is, if you can't do it, you can't come to school. It's that simple. If you can't follow the protocols, your other choice is to continue to learn from home. So let's help each other by doing our own personal best and by gently reminding our friends to do the same. Thank you for being awesome and for making our school a great place to learn and to be. Looking forward to seeing you all really soon.